Welcome back to SA Live. Well, fireworks aren't the only magic happening this weekend. <laughs> That's right. Magician David Kovac is in town and will be performing at the Magician's Agency Theater, of course, in downtown starting tonight. That's right. Tonight mm -hmm. at 7, tomorrow at 7, and then Sundays we start a little bit earlier, 2 p.m. Okay. So, um, oh, by the way, we say in my line of work, trust everybody but cut the cards. And so <laughs> that is precisely what I have done. Here's your half. <laughs> yep, and have fun. <laughs> See you later. Take care. No, no, I know you're perfectly capable of entertaining yourselves. However, I'd like to do a bit of an experiment here. Perhaps you are familiar with the term, he who has choice has torment, or perhaps not. But Mike, do me a big favor yes. and just touch any card. Okay. Leave your finger there because I will cheat if you let me. No, okay. no, no. Uh, we don't want to see the card. That's what makes it a blind trick. So just touch like this. Okay, uh, right there. Perfect. Okay, now leave your finger there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to entrust you with this card, but do not peek because, of course, once you look at it, you will form an attachment. Okay. That's the way these things work. <laughs> uh, can I see your half of the yes. card? Okay, very yes. good. Now, you could have taken your own card, but of course you didn't. You were very polite. Now, uh, we have some other cards here as well. Now, um, go ahead and just leave your finger there. You can just touch any card that you feel. Now, look, oh. they say always go with your first intuition, right? You've heard this? And okay. if your second and your third intuition is the same as your first, you are building a pretty strong case. So just go, <laughs> touch any card. <laughs> That was, I think, the same card she touched earlier. Boy, oh boy, why I got it. Okay, you give her an inch, she measures it. You know what I'm saying? She's very particular. We have to cross our T's and okay. dot our I's. Okay. But we mustn't cross our I's or they can stay that way forever. <laughs> now, your card is currently on top, is that correct? I so think just so. take this. Okay, okay. now yeah. I hope. That this look. works. They're all good tricks when they work. How many of you have ever observed that every time something in your life went horribly wrong, you were there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, did, did you look at it yet? I did not. Okay, very good. I'll take your card. I'll take your card. Wouldn't it be amazing? It. Oh, it's going to be a good. Why? Don't get ahead of me. A five of clubs, the power of love, charm, and personal force. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, naturally, we had a funny feeling that they. But, but that's actually not the trick. I want to thank you very much for joining me. You know, the last time I was here, I gave you a postcard. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. And it had, I think, a drawing of some sort. A drawing of your favorite, and I think it might have been that. Uh, was it a bird? I think so. Yeah, well, I'm a big gift yes. giver. It's my love language. Here, have a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> but I have something for Mike. In all my oh. spare time, well, this is a picture of a guy balancing his hat. You see, it's a nice hat, right? But we know the most important thing you wear is your expression. So I'm going to see if I can get a smile. On the back, in all my spare time here uh, this afternoon, I drew a picture of my lucky card, which just happens to be the five of... Oh. Oh my gosh. Don't look at me, I'm looking at you. Five o'clock, how soon we forget. Here you go, don't send it to me, I have 5,000 of these postcards. This one's special though, it says the five of, uh, five of clubs. Hey, do you know how you discover your magical intelligence? Have we talked about that? Do no. we talk about that ever? No. Okay, well there's a way that people tend to discover, can you just set that down there? But I, I, I won't make off with your B. Okay. Go ahead and set that down. Now, there's a way that people discover their magical intelligence and it's generally something like this. When I was a kid, we had a bully in the neighborhood, which is sad but true, you get to play the part of the bully. Okay, okay. you ready for this? I had one, two, three, four, five dollars each week for my allowance, and Eddie stole one dollar on Monday, but by Tuesday, one, two, three, four, five bills remained in the hand. I know, it was most vexing. One bill, hand it off to the bully, and one, two, three, four, it just kept happening. You know, I said to my math teacher, how could it be that I arrive at one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, he said, you gotta keep money in flow, kid. That's why they call it currency. One, two, <laughs> two three, four, which is true, by the way. One bill, hand it off to the pocket. Here comes the silent part. Oh my God. Well, we had a drama teacher. Were you ever in drama class? Drama yeah. class? Yes. Yeah, you did plays and stuff. We had a drama teacher, Miss Augustine, and I said, look, I want to be in show business, but I have a dilemma. If I have $5 to my name, I place one inside the pocket of a friend in need, how many should I have remaining? She said, think bigger. <laughs> well, I guess that's how we discover our magical intelligence. Um, oh, yes. Yep, yeah, see you later. Yes. At least I got left with the money. <laughs> <laughs> it all came from your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can catch David Kovac, of course, at the Magician's Agency Theater tonight through next Sunday, July 10th. You can get tickets online. For more, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.